Hey guys, in this video I'm going over how to increase DHT and if you already watched some of my videos you know, you know how important DHT is for men's health, okay? So it's definitely not a trash hormone like you see in other videos on YouTube and in this video I will tell you how you can really supercharge your DHT level. We want to have a healthy balance we don't wanna have extremely high DHT and I also will explain if there is a role of DHT in male baldness, in alopecia, androgenic alopecia and also if uh, DHT can cause uh, prostate cancer and so on, okay? So, first of all, we need to understand that DHT itself enhances, improves androgenic activity. It's the has the biggest effect on androgen receptors and your testosterone level if you have even super logically high testosterone level will have no effect if your androgen receptors are not working okay so if they are not working there is no body response to your testosterone and you can have even 1200 nanogram per deciliter or even 2000 okay so i work with guys on trt and they have like 1000 nanogram per deciliter and have no benefits and it's mostly because of two two things okay so androgen receptors any kind of issue that can be also genetic but also low dhd or blocked 5 alpha reductase because this is how dhd is made via 5 alpha reductase enzymes okay so low dhd levels how do you know that you have low DHT levels, okay? For example, you will have less orgasm, okay? If your DHT is high, you can you can have a bedroom activity four or six times per day, trust me. I can tell you from my own experience, okay? Uh, DHT will improve your nitric oxide production. Not many people know about this because many guys will take... Uh, arginine l citrulline in order to improve their gym or bedroom performance but what helping us with nitric oxide production and synthase the synthase we are not talking because l arginine l citrulline is only substrate it's not the the process of making nitric oxide but if you want to improve this you also need androgens and DHT is extremely great. Uh, you will find studies out there that can help boost nitric oxide synthase. Okay, so we definitely need it for better erection, for better gym performance, for cardiovascular health. Okay, and even for brain because an anti-aging because uh, nitric oxide can affect telomeres and can be really beneficial for nitric oxide but we don't want inflammatory nitric oxide we want uh, we want only the enos and enos okay so if you want to avoid penile shrinkage okay if you want to have high libido if you want to decrease your refractory period uh, if you want to avoid drop in testosterone uh, if you want to avoid erectile dysfunction anxiety uh, mood issues, depression, if you want to avoid low confidence, low dopamine, then you need to raise your uh, DHD, dihydrotestosterone, okay? Also muscle loss, muscle strength, if you want to boost muscle strength, muscle density, here is DHD, okay? So also inability to build muscle is because of your androgen receptors and your DHT okay so they are both low okay so okay uh, what what is uh, what is for example blocking this production of DHT stress okay because DHT is also made we need testosterone to have a DHT okay so stress is really a bad thing because uh, stress will fight with uh, testosterone okay the less stress you are the the less uh, the the more stress you are the less testosterone your body will produce okay so uh stress is a big factor okay there we have some dhd and 5 alpha reductase supplements and uh, 
substance, substance, okay? Uh, I already made a video on things that are blocking DHT and 5 alpha hydroxidase, okay? So we have things like black tea, okay? Not good, okay? So reishi mushroom, for example, curcumin, okay? Curcumin has many benefits, but the big issue with curcumin is that it's blocking 5 alpha hydroxidase, okay? So palmetto, the same blocking issue as a finasteride, also finasteride, you should uh, get rid of these things. There are much better ways uh, how you can uh, improve your hairlines, okay? So, another thing, uh, there are many guys claiming prostate growth and prostate cancer. It's not just a thing of DHT. Uh, it's a combined thing of inflammation, high estradiol, high prolactin, and then DHT is contributing factor, but there are studies out there on prostate cancer that these patients are treated with DHT, okay? So, so it's not as black or as white as it seems, but generally you need to have genes for that. Also, you, uh, you need to have high estradiol and high prolactin, okay? So fixing high estradiol inflammation and high prolactin will fix this issue okay uh what can you do for your prostate health okay i drink every day ginger tea okay fresh or dry ginger okay i do it every single time vitamin k2 in one specific form can help with uh, prostate issues and also using antioxidant for example like pycnogenol okay Cialis is also helping with prostate with PSA, okay? So I'm not very, uh, I, I don't like uh, that much Cialis, but you have also many uh, natural things that can help, okay? So DHT and hair loss, okay? So there is a very bad idea of these guys to have a wonderful hairline to block 5 alpha reductase Guys, we need 5 alpha reductase and DHT. We have also mood. If you block 5 alpha reductase, your cortisol will skyrocket because you will not be as good as handling stress as you've been with high 5 alpha reductase, okay? Because 5 alpha reductase can help us with uh, stress, okay? So you will not have DHT. DHT is a calming. A neurosteroid okay so helps with dopamine with GABA okay without this we are anxious we have depression so definitely we need uh, definitely we need 5 uh, alpha reductase and DHT okay so uh, there are also things that uh, there are also medication that for example blocks 5 alpha reductase but also cause hair loss so there is no logic that only DHT is causing the male baldness. As you can see, my hair is quite okay, but it's our genetic, our family genetic. And also, uh, I try to keep a prolactin as low as possible, okay? This is something I always do. And also estradiol, estradiol because uh, if estradiol is high, you have also sometimes high high SHBG and uh, DHT will bind to SHBG and you will lose the effect of DHT, okay? So how you can increase DHT? Guys, many of these keto guys, carnivore guys, please add some carbs to your diet, honey, baked potatoes, rice. You need at least 200 grams, okay? So 50 grams per day is not or less is not good for, for you, even for your mood, because carbs mean happier life, okay? So you will decrease cortisol. Like I said, cortisol is not good for testosterone because, for example, guys on carnivore or, uh, or keto, they will have high testosterone, but free testosterone will be small, okay? So they have high testosterone, uh, testosterone they have high SHBG, but free testosterone, is uh, low, uh, estradiol is sometimes uh, over 40 or 60, okay? I have seen 
many uh, blood work recently and I can confirm that also with other publication with other uh, guys that are teaching on testosterone okay so uh, what can you do also to increase DHD dihydrotestosterone DHEA okay because also from DHEA testosterone and DHD will be created be careful because DHEA can also increase estrogen okay so I what I really love is uh, natural uh, supplement Tribulus, there is also Dios Korea, uh, has similar activity through Dios Genin, but I personally love Tribulus because it can do more than that. It can be also helpful for your uh, cardiovascular health, can help with angiogenesis, uh, have many benefits, but you need to have high quality Tribulus and you need to know how to cycle it and how to add uh, drugs that work in synergy with tribulus okay and many guys don't know this if you need help on this you will find a link for my coaching okay so you also need to increase uh, five alpha reductase uh, activity in order to get more uh, dhd because dhd is uh, made from testosterone also okay so your five alpha reductase need to work proper properly also some guys have some methylation of 5 alpha reductase, it's because they are fat, okay? So high B BMI can cause a uh, specific mutation in 5 alpha reductase, okay? So try to lose weight, for example, or support 5 alpha reductase activity by natural supplements. Like I said, you have a link in the description for my coaching. I can help make your customized plan to boost your androgens, okay? So lower estradiol, lower SABG, okay, so uh, avoid phytoestrogen, avoid xenoestrogens, okay, so you need to block aromatase, okay, uh, and you need to also improve detox detoxification of estrogen via liver, okay, so also for balance of 5-alpha reductase uh, creatine, okay, many guys have uh, are afraid that creatine will cr make uh, them bold okay so but the problem is creatine it will only regulate the activity okay if it's high it will down regulate if it's low it will up regulate okay so you can boost igf1 uh, if you want to increase uh, uh, dihydrotestosterone and also you need to boost your thyroid because Hypoactive thyroids with, will cause a lot of problems, okay? So, guys, if you want to have more videos, let me know the topic I want to cover. If you need my help, you know where to find me. Bye.